So we're in a D90. How much room is in a D90? And the first thing I want to point out is this is a bench seat. So you have the options between bench seats or bucket seats. And I'll show you the difference between the two on screen here, but focused on the bench seats. The one thing you'll notice about the bench seat is it's not as deep. The bucket seat is a deeper seat, meaning it comes out further under your legs, but the bench seat gives you more width. It's a little wider than with the bucket. The bucket is very fitting right here, comes out farther than if you're using buckets. The person sitting across from you, your knees, you guys are like really knee to knee. With the bench seats, you can have another adult sitting across on this side if you choose. And of course, you can have four adults back here, but there's more leg room with bench seats versus bucket seats when you have a multiple adults. If you have two adults back here, not a problem at all. And if it's four adults, then if you're using buckets, it is going to be a little more confined versus the benches. A benefit of benches over buckets is you only have the one piece here, so it's one piece of you know, actually hardware, and this folds up out of the way to provide more room, and this, the room in here, so if you have dogs, it's easier, because if your dogs like to jump around, then chances are they're gonna jump on the buckets, the seats are gonna come down, there's a strap that holds them, but these seem to be a little more secure and staying up. So which design do you like better is really up to you. Uh, and I think it really depends on how often are you going to have passengers in the back. If you have young kids, then buckets are gonna be fine. It, it's a nice option or even teenage kids, buckets are gonna be good. But uh, if you're not using the seats very often, I would say go with the bench. You'll save money. And if no one's really using it, then why do it? In this truck, what we did is the front is all leather. I mean, this is nice bespoke leather, but in the back we did vinyl just to cut some cost because there's only gonna be a couple dogs back here and that's it. So seat belts, yes, you do have seat belts here. So you have your waist seat belt that's for the bench and the bucket. You cannot do shoulder seat belts here. It's, it, federal government won't allow it, it's illegal, you just can't do it. So if you see that on Instagram with somebody with the shoulder belt, just know that, that if it comes through customs, customs is going to flag it and they're going to hold that truck until it's removed. It's up to you if you want to do it after the fact. Um, and I'm talking about this because I'm asked this quite often, but a shoulder belt does not really help you. The shoulder belt was designed for a forward impact to keep the person from going forward. But in a Defender, if, you have, if you're sitting this way and you have a forward impact, that shoulder belt's doing nothing, so there's no reason for it. But the waist belt's gonna keep your passengers in place. So bench seating, you see how I'm sitting. I don't have as much room under my legs. I could sit back here comfortably, you know, for whatever, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, even a little longer. Um, headroom, I have a couple inches here, not a lot of room. I am sitting up, I'm not having to slouch, but if it was only two adults, I could get a little more comfortable, spread my legs out. The area right here though, in the size of a D90, is the same as in a D110. It's three feet by four feet. So if you're trying to decide whether or not you can carry golf clubs, just know it's three feet by four feet in a D90 and a D110. In the D110 though, you have the option because where you would have your second row seats, you could have a 60-40 split, which would be a full bench seat, which would 60-40 split and fold forward. Or you could pull the rear seats out completely if you don't have the need for any passengers and make it basically a two-seater. So on that. So bench seats, bucket seats, it's going to be personal preference, but it's also going to be how often do you use them? If you're not going to use them often, I say go with the bench seats, save some money, fold them up, get them out of the way, and keep the storage space open.